Hi everyone, and welcome to my kitchen again. I'm Tina Patton from Honolulu, Hawaii. I'm so excited to share with you an amazing recipe I came up with using a brand new product from Kraft. It's Philadelphia cooking cream. They come in these cute little 10 ounce containers in four wonderful flavors. Savory garlic, Italian cheese and herb, Santa Fe blend, and original. They're so full of flavor, they can make any dish amazing. So the recipe I'm going to make today is called Pirate Burgers. I grew up going to elementary school in the 70s when they used to still cook hot lunches at school and it smelled, the whole school smelled so good. But our favorite was these cheeseburger filled buns. Mm, they call them Pirate Burgers, it's like a ground up cheeseburger in an enclosed bun. So I've tried over the years to duplicate the recipe with um, moderate success, but until I got this uh, cooking cream, I never got the exact flavor. And it is amazing. I was so happy when I tried it using the cooking cream. I had to call my sisters over to come and try it. It's the savory garlic one that we're going to use today, and it is so super simple. We'll go ahead and get started. Now what I'm going to do first, I'm going to cheat and use frozen dinner rolls so you'll get that homemade taste without all the work. So I just cut it open, and I've got uh, two cookie sheets here lined with non-stick foil. I'm just going to let these thaw out while we cook our meat. So I'll put, mm, try to fit 15 on a pan. They're kind of small, so they're actually going to be mini burgers. So we'll do five rows, three in each row. So we've got all of our rolls laid out so they can thaw out while we do our meat. Now, I prefer using ground turkey, but you can use any kind of meat you want. I've got one pound in this pot, and all I'm going to add to it is a cup of diced onion. And then just one teaspoon of black pepper. We don't need to add any salt or anything because we're going to be adding some cheese and that's got enough salt in it. So all we got to do is brown this off, and then I'll come back and show you what else we add to it. Okay, so our meat is all brown with our onions and pepper. We're going to go ahead and add our cooking cream. Try to pull it back a little bit to get started. You can see how creamy that is. Mm, and I smell that garlic. You can eat it just like this. There's no need to thaw this or let it sit at room temperature. It's already creamy, ready to go. I'm just going to add all of that into our meat mixture. Along with two cups of shredded cheddar. I prefer sharp, but you can use whatever you want. You see how easy that mixes in? That's all you need. That was the secret. All I did after the meat was cooked was just drain off the fat, which was very little since it was turkey. And then here we go. Wonderful cheesy filling for our buns. Now this recipe is very fast. The, probably the longest time you'll have to wait is for the dough to thaw. But if you don't want to wait for the dough to thaw, you can use maybe refrigerator biscuits and they'll do the same job. I think these give a better flavor, so it's worth the time to thaw some frozen rolls. Now they, these have been sitting about 25 minutes. Just get them soft enough. Oh yeah, they're perfect. To just flatten them out into a disc. We're going to stretch it a little bit. Maybe to the size of your palm. And then what I use is my cookie scooper. Just take one scoop of that yummy mixture, stick it right in the middle, and then just work the dough so that you can pinch it closed all around. You want to make 
sure you get it all in there and stretch the dough enough. Oops, I think I didn't stretch this one enough. So that you can close it. It's just going to be like a little to-go pocket. Okay, I'm making a mess. Okay. Okay, once you get them all closed up, then you set them back on the pan and then finish the rest. Let's see if I can do the second one a little better. Stretch it out a little bit further. It'll be easy to get the filling in. There we go. Okay. Put our filling in. There we go. Stretch it all the way close. There, that was much easier. Okay, make sure it's all sealed up really good. So you're just going to have a little pocket just like that. Alright, I'll go ahead and finish them up and then we'll stick them in the oven. Okay, so we've got them all rolled out, ready to put in the oven. I have my oven set to 325 and they're going to bake for about 15 minutes until they're nice and golden brown. Okay, we'll come back and pull these out in a minute. Okay, it's been 15 minutes, so let's go ahead and take our pirate burgers out. Mmm, mmm, they smell delicious. I ended up transferring them to all to one pan so they could all be cooked at the same time. My oven doesn't kind of do the two level thingy. So I decided to put them on these little football bowls because Super Bowl is coming up and they do make 34. And believe me, they'll disappear fast. So I'll go ahead and cut one up so you can see what it looks like. Ooh, it's still warm. Yummy, look at that. So good. I can't wait to try them, but they have to cool off. Mmm. -hmm. Brings back memories. Go ahead and try these, ladies. Savory garlic flavor. You're going to love them.